Today I'll be ranking the best character from each TV show, and only that TV show. So what they do or don't do in any other show does not affect my ranking. I'll also give you 5 characters from each show and then pick my favorite. And with all that out of the way, let's get started. Andor. Okay, in this show, we have Cassian Andor, Luthen, Vel, Cyril, and Mon Mothma. And really, it's not that hard, bro. It's called Andor. So in my opinion, definitely Cassian Andor is the best character. Luthen, I guess you could probably he could probably be your favorite, but Cassian Andor has the most screen time by a lot. But Cassian Andor in this show it shows his backstory it shows going against the empire and why he hates the Am empire and why he joins the rebels in rogue one he's just really good like what i said earlier what they do in any other movie or show does not affect how i rank the characters so and what andor does in rogue one doesn't matter but still he's my favorite character in andor he's also the main character so i feel like that's pretty obvious the obi-wan kenobi show we have leia reva darth vader Obi-Wan Kenobi, Oni, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Taylor Durrith. I don't even know why I put Taylor Durrith on here. I said I would put five people, so I put five people. And really, Reva probably isn't anyone's favorite either. So really, it's Leia, Darth Vader, or Obi-Wan Kenobi. And in most people's opinion, it's Darth Vader or Obi-Wan Kenobi. But for me specifically... It's extremely close between them two, bro. I don't really know. Darth Vader has the amazing ending scenes. He has a lot of cool scenes where he doesn't have any dialogue. A lot of his dialogue is pretty good. Obi-Wan has, like, pretty much the whole show. Has the most screen time by a good bit. Um, it's He's a hermit on the desert. Then he is, like, he doesn't like the Force. He's not, like, communing with the Force. And then communes with it. By the end, finds sees Qui-Gon for the first time. He fights Vader. Even though Obi-Wan's the main character, I'm really tempted to go with Darth Vader, but really, I feel like it has to be Obi-Wan, bro. He He's my favorite in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, which is such a shocker, right? I know, it's insane. I just feel like his character in here is done well enough, because the Obi-Wan Kenobi show isn't done well at, really at all, but Darth Vader and Obi-Wan are done well enough that it's enjoyable to watch them, but Obi-Wan does have some bad moments, and Darth Vader really doesn't. So maybe Darth Vader? Ah, it's close. I'm, I'm gonna stick with Obi-Wan though. I'm gonna stick with Obi-Wan. The Bad Batch. Season 1 and 2. We have Wrecker, Omega, Tech, Hunter, and Crosshair. Omega, Omega, however you want to say it. I don't really care. You could also throw Echo in here. But I only said 5 people. And maybe instead of Omega, I should have put Echo. But Omega has a lot more screen time. Whatever. In my opinion... It's really down to two, three people. Three people, I would say. It's really Tech, Hunter, and Crosshair. Tech and his whole, all the way up to his death is really good. Very good character. He had a lot more character development in the second season. Hunter is like the main character in my eyes anyway. He's the leader of the Bad Batch. Always, even with or without Crosshair, doesn't really matter. He's always been the leader. He's like one of the coolest characters. He's just so cool looking and acts cool. But Crosshair is the same way. He's so he's such a cool character. Like, there's nothing you can really go wrong with him. He's a dead-eye sniper. He's not very talkative. Very little dialogue at the beginning anyway. And is just really cool. But honestly, when I first looked at this and was deciding who to choose as number one, Hunter was my immediate pick. But I have changed it since then. It's Crosshair, in my opinion. Crosshair is my favorite character in The Bad Batch. Mainly because of the season two. Season one's good, but season two at the end where he like realizes that the empire is bad, he shouldn't be really following the empire and then gets trapped. Amazing. Cannot wait for season three. Really, really excited to watch that. Star Wars The Clone Wars 2D Micro Series. You have General Grievous, Anakin Skywalker, Mace Windu, Obi Wan Kenobi, and Count Dooku. I guess there's also other characters you choose like Kit, Fisto, Yoda, or Sauce Ventress, but. I don't really care as much for them in this in this show specifically. I would say that it's really between Anakin and General Grievous. Because Anakin and General Grievous have a lot of the screen time. Anakin, has, I think, has the most for sure. General Grievous is super cool in this. Anakin's fight against Asajj is really good. I don't remember too much in this show. Because I did watch it a while ago. And I didn't really watch the full thing. But I have seen a lot of clips and I have watched a lot of the episodes. But in my opinion, General Grievous wins. Because this is the, where he's the best. Of any of his adaptations in the Clone Wars, the 2008 series, or the Revenge of the Sith, I like this General Grievous the most. The pre-injured one, the super cool 
fighting for Jedi at the same time, General Grievous is able to take care of each one before the clones get there and scare them off. Really in the Clone Wars and Revenge of the Sith, he's known as this, this guy that just runs away in the scaredy cat. So I really like him in this show specifically. The Ahsoka series. We have Grand Admiral Thrawn, Ahsoka Tano, Sabine Wren, Balin Skull, and Anakin Skywalker. Grand Admiral Thrawn is probably my favorite besides Anakin. That's because of Rebels, not because of Ahsoka. So in my opinion, it's really between Balin and Ahsoka because Ahsoka is the main character. So obviously, you go with the main character, right? Wrong. Balin Skull is my favorite character in this one. He, I just love his different. He's just different. He kind of reminds me of Qui-Gon if Qui-Gon was like evil. Um... His story about Anakin is cool. His story to like Shinhati are pretty good about like the um, Republic and how it wasn't as good as they all thought it was. He was, he, he has a Sith is just cool. He's not really a Sith, I guess, but he's just a great character. R.I.P. Ray Stevenson, man. Rest in peace. Star Wars, the Clone Wars series. Ahsoka Tano, Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Captain Rex, and Padme Amidala. Wow, in this show, there's so much, there's so many episodes, so it's kind of hard to pick a single person. They have hours and hours of screen time. It's kind of crazy. But really, I think you get rid of Padme. And I know that's just getting rid of one person, but now you have four people. Captain Rex comes from this show. Ahsoka comes from the Star Wars movie, but still from this show. And then Anakin and Obi-Wan are big staples in this show. Really? I feel like you get rid of Obi-Wan. And then you get rid of Captain Rex. So it's really Ahsoka or Anakin Skywalker. Ahsoka starts in this and her origins are in the Clone Wars. And she grows up from a young Padawan that is very arrogant, kind of annoying, to this really kind of pretty, pretty stoic character in Season 7 of the Clone Wars. She is very energetic. She's very smart. She's Her IQ in, in battle is really good being trained by Anakin Skywalker but Anakin is like his Mortis stuff I guess Ahsoka's there too but him being pulled into the dark side a lot of his themes being like turned into Darth Vader you see his slow turn in specific scenes and in my opinion even though Ahsoka Tano has the most screen time in Star Wars The Clone Wars Anakin Skywalker is my favorite I feel like he's just way too good in this show he's he's insane his voice acting is really good and he's Definitely my favorite in this show, hands down. And then the Book of Boba Fett. Obviously, you have Boba Fett, then you have Fennec Shand, Grogu, the Mandalorian, and Cad Bane. So this one seems pretty obvious, right? It's the name of the show. It's obviously Boba Fett, right? Wrong. It's the Mandalorian. In my opinion, the Mandalorian pretty easily takes this. He had almost an hour less than Boba Fett in screen time. But his screen time was, in my opinion, 10 times better. Every time the Mandalorian was there, it was a better show, automatically. The Mandalorian episode was my favorite episode, and that wasn't even with Boba Fett in it. I did like Boba Fett's backstory, but the Mandalorian is so much better. I feel like he's just way cooler. He's what Boba Fett kind of should have been, even though Boba Fett probably should have been even more of like a cold person i don't know if boba fett needed the character development that he need, had in there it's kind of like kratos in the god of war games uh, like the cr original creator didn't want kratos to have like the character development to become like a good guy i don't know if really the main i know boba fett isn't really a bad guy he's not really a good guy either but he should have stayed how he was so for that reason i think the mandalorian takes this tales of the jedi you have count dooku ahsoka tano mace windu qui-gon jinn and yaddle this is really just a race between two people. Again, Ahsoka Tano being on the top of the, one of these lists, and then Count Dooku. But again, Ahsoka Tano is not winning. Count Dooku takes us, in my opinion. Even though Ahsoka has the my favorite episode, the one where Anakin teaches her to fight against the clones, that's my favorite episode of the series. Every single one of Count Dooku's episodes are amazing. Every single one of them. All of them are really, really good. Ahsoka's origins being, like, as a baby is... Eh episode and the last one is not as amazing either when she kills the inquisitor but every single one of dooku's is so good i love all of them him him when him with qui-gon where he like uses the force choke against like the mayor or whatever is really really good i love that him with mace windu i liked that one even though it was probably my least favorite out of the three and then the final one against Seattle. i love that one i love that one as well 
That's why he takes it for me anyway. Star Wars Rebels. Ezra Bridger, Sabine Wren, Zeb Aurelius, Harrison Dula, and Kanan Jarrus. Again, like the Clone Wars, a stacked group of people. Any single one of them could deserve it. Um, there's also characters like Darth Vader and Ahsoka in this, but I don't think they really are in it enough to be mentioned here. Really, in my opinion, it comes down to the top three is Sabine, Ezra, and Kanan, but really it's just Ezra or Kanan. Sabine's good, but it's Ezra or Kanan for sure. And Ezra has the most screen time. Kanan, I think, has the second most. Ezra is the savior of everyone. At the very end, he sacrifices himself and Sabine ruins it, like I've said other times. I really feel like Ezra is just so good in this show. Like, he starts again like Ahsoka as a big annoying kind of bratty kid and then grows up to be this stoic Jedi. Pretty pretty similar to Ahsoka, but he's different in a lot of ways. His blaster, how he acts as a Jedi, he's a little more kiddish. But my favorite character has to be Kanan Jarrus. Kanan Jarrus is, I feel like he reminds me a lot of Obi-Wan Kenobi when he can see. He reminds me of like the younger Obi-Wan Kenobi, maybe like Attack of the Clones Phantom Menace, where he's a little bit more, and he still does some not so smart stuff, or not so wide stuff. And he doesn't ever think he can train Ezra, which is kind of sad, but he does end up training Ezra, and he's one of the best mentors in all Star Wars, and one of the best definitions of how to be a Jedi. The best, maybe besides Obi-Wan or Qui-Gon, they're all there. That's why I kind of see him as very similar to Obi-Wan anyway. The Mandalorian. First you have Din Djarin, and we're going to end it there. It's obviously Din Djarin. Who else would it be for this show? He has mild, he has like seven and a half hours of screen time. He's the best character, one of the best characters in Star Wars for sure. He's so cool. He's sick. His theme song's amazing. His main quote being, this is the way, is super cool. He is just insane. Like, he's just so cool. He, him with the Darksaber is sick. Um, he's just, he's just definitely the best. And if you enjoyed this video, check out one of my other ranking videos. In this video, I ranked every Star Wars show. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.